Well, this is the, the biggest uh, recorded breeding event for the species this century. Uh, the Siamese crocodile was considered to be extinct in the wild only a couple of decades ago. And so having now found 60 hatchlings uh, produced in the wild is, is really significant for the recovery of the species. We have done is protect the nest to make sure that that uh, process happens without uh, potentially predators coming in and, and raiding the, the nest with viable eggs. And um, the mothers uh, of, of those uh, hatchlings were protecting each of those nests. And so the best thing to do, which is what we have done, is to let uh, basically nature uh, do its thing and, and have the mothers protect those hatchlings. So the hatchlings were let uh, in the wild under the protection of, of their mothers. And we work also closely with government partners to ensure that these habitats are protected. Um, we are additionally carrying out regular monitoring. So our field teams go out to check uh, for signs of crocodiles to make sure that we have a good understanding of where the species uh, is within this large landscape and also we go out uh, during breeding season to locate nests and understand what the breeding is like. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We are counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. As the world warms, nature sentinels will rise. As a billion hands will dig deep to write a new future for our planet. Across to the West Indies, what can we expect?